Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In an earlier video where I showed Rocknix on the Rockchip RK3588, someone asked if I could have a look at Portmaster. So here you can see the system information of Rocknix. It's running on my Racha Rock 5B with the RK3588. And as you can see here, I have a couple of ports installed through Portmaster. And I think uh, Retro Game Corps, they have a very good tutorial. And I will link that in the description of the video. So I think in short, what you can do is, so let's just say, um, as I don't have internet connection, um, oops. So you have to download the full installation script for Portmaster. And I will also put a link to Portmaster in the description of the video. And then you have to put that in ROMs. and ports. So in this directory, and yeah, what you can do Yeah, I think if you start ports uh, at that stage, you will only see the name of the script and then you have to execute the script. And once that is done, you can start installing the games and you can download them uh, from the Portmaster website. And just as an example, uh, Half-Life, they will only provide you with uh, the executable and not with the game assets. Uh, so I got Half-Life at the anniversary when they gave it away for free through Steam. And yeah, once Portmaster itself is installed, then you have a directory auto install. And then you can place the zip files here. And what you can do is just start Portmaster from the tools section. Oops. And if you have any uh, zip files in that directory, it will install it. So in this case, everything is already installed, so it doesn't need to do anything. And I think here you have the option to reinstall things if needed. So as you can see, I installed uh, Half-Life. And as I said, you only get the executables. So what you have to do is uh, find the Valve directory on your system where you have Half-Life installed. 
Um, whoops. Storage rooms. And then copy that over to Half-Life. So this directory, Valve, all the files and directories that you find on the computer where you have it installed, just copy that over to this directory. And then I thought, well, that should be really easy to play Half-Life. And then I was able to get to the menu So let's just say we want to start a new game. And then it crashed. So I thought like, well, is there a problem with Portmaster or is it just with Half-Life? So I tried uh, Lugaru. So if we start this one, So you can see that that one works. And then I wondered, well, why doesn't it work? Why doesn't Half-Life work? And then I remembered that there are some system settings and one of them is the GPU driver. So I think by default it's Libmali, but for Half-Life, I had to set it to Penfrost. And then when you change the GPU driver, you have to restart. So now when we well, let's just load a game. Ah, hello, Warden Freeman. It's good to see you. Are you 100% sure? It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? So you can see that uh, Half-Life works with the Penfrost GPU driver. And I think when you do have an internet connection, uh, working with Portmaster is a lot easier. But it's a good thing that they also have the option to work offline and that means that you have to download uh, the installation files from their website so yeah once you have everything set up it's really easy and yeah it even works with half-life although there you need one extra step to copy the game assets but yes i'm really happy with rocknix and Portmaster within Rocknix. So yeah, I think if you have a RK3588 device that is supported by Rocknix, yeah, you can install a lot of games that should keep you busy for a long time. And 
yeah, they even have some games that uh, can be installed completely because they're fully open source. So that means including the game assets like Lugaru or Super Tux Card. So I hope you will have a lot of fun with this. This is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.